And joining us from the protest outside the press debate in Christchurch is former Gloria Vale resident Hannah Harrison. Thanks for being with us tonight, Hannah. Can you tell me what exactly you want to happen? Um, I think that most of us that have left Gloria Vale have gotten to a point where we just really want there to be an independent inquiry into Gloravale, into the way people are employed, into the physical, mental, social and emotional abuse that goes on there consistently. Um, you're basically a slave within the community and it's got to the point that so many of us have spoken out once we've left but nothing changes and nothing happens and I think we're really here tonight to to stand up and say look something needs to happen it's not good enough that every agency is saying oh that's not our problem it's someone's problem these people are citizens within our country um, and for a lot of us they're our family and and they're being treated like slaves Hannah, you mentioned some of the government agencies there. Obviously the police have been into Gloria Vale and so is Oranga Tamariki. What's going wrong there then? If, if they're going in there and looking, where's the breakdown? The breakdown is they don't actually believe that they're being manipulated. Like, I, from as long as I can remember as a child, when WorkSafe came in, when the police came in, when anyone came in, they would put their best face forward. They would say, oh, kids, you don't have to come to work today. Or oh, hide out in that back room until after the inspectors have come through. Um, and, and every time the police talk to someone, it's who the leaders want them to talk to every time. TV talks to someone, it's who the leaders want them to talk to. So really, the police, Oranga Tamariki, WorkSafe, they're only seeing what the leaders want them to see. What, what did you do when you were in there? You spent the first 20 years of your life there, so when it came to working, what age were you when you started working and what was expected of you? So um, at the age of 15 I went into a transition education program which meant I would be at work for most of the day and then uh, school in the afternoon, probably one of the hardest years of my life. Um, so you don't get to choose what kind of work you do. You th Apparently they're self-employed or volunteers, they don't get to choose the hours, they don't get to choose the job they do. They don't have any say at all with their work as to what they do. And you're working gruelling hours, sometimes from four in the morning till eight at night, with maybe one break in between. That's about 10 minutes. So do you think that's slavery? Absolutely. I think it comes into the category of you're forced to work without pay and without reward for your work, which is then slavery. So when authorities or anyone from the government or agencies came into Gloria Vale, what were you told to say or do? So um, I remember as a young, maybe 12 or 13 year old, um, working in the moss shed at one point, and we were told there was going to be inspectors there that afternoon, and so at two o'clock we would leave, and we would go away for half an hour while the inspectors were there, because it was illegal to have underage people working in there, and then we would come back after they left. So that's, that's common practice at Gloravale and I'm sure that anyone that's left would say exactly the same thing. Um, and as far as talking to anyone goes, nobody actually interviews you unless you're the ones that the leaders have chosen are going to speak. And the leaders chose you to speak because they know you'll say exactly what they want you to say. Did you have the same education as young men in there? Did you sit school exams? Um, yes, you, so you do sit school exams. Um, no, you have a different education. Their education is very gender based. So girls, like as a kid, I wanted to do woodwork um, and I wasn't allowed to because that was a boy's thing to do. We don't have girls doing things like that. 
So it's a very gender-based education with, like even up in the senior years, there's actually no choice on what sort of thing you get to study in school. And you don't get to choose if you can go to uni or not. They chose if they think you need to be, you need to go to uni. That's it. There's absolutely no choice in any area of your life. Hannah, some people would say this is part of the religious beliefs of those people who choose to live at Gloria Vale. They're exercising their religious freedoms and rights. And minors who are in there are under their parents' guidance, and that is the life that parents choose for them. What do you say to that? Um, I think that's a really misinformed approach. For the last 50 years, everyone that is in there was born in there. Their parents were born in there. So for those minors, their parents choosing means nothing because those parents have never had the choice in the first place. And I think as far as religious freedom goes, it's not, that is not religious freedom. That's not what religious freedom's about. That's religious slavery. That's a bunch of 16 men holding 500 other people up to their standard and they decide whether they're going to heaven or hell. That is not religious freedom. Hannah, you're there tonight protesting in the hope that Jacinda Ardern gets your message. So right now, if you could speak to her, what's your message directly to her? My message to Jacinda would be to open your eyes. Sometimes you only see what you want to see. There is people suffering in there. There is people without the lack of medical care that they need. There is people working far too long. There is so much wrong with that place. It is so despicable to me to think that you wouldn't think it needed an investigation and inquiries into what is going on in there. I suppose the thing that I could say is be kind. These are vulnerable people that need your help. And that's why we're here, to really show that these people are voiceless and we're here to be a voice for those voiceless people. Hannah, I can hear it in your voice that this really hurts you. Is that a... F yes, yeah, definitely. There's a, I have a lot of family in there still. Both sets of my grandparents are in there. They're both over... All my grandparents are over 65. They're still working full time. I'm not convinced that they're getting the medical care they need in there. In fact, I know they're not. And the worst thing is the, f the fear that holds every single person in there in slavery. The fear of going to hell, the fear of leaving, the fear of the outside world. That is how the leaders control them. They control them by that fear. And I feel like if we could give them the social freedoms that the rest of us enjoy and take for granted, then they would soon their eyes would be open and they would see that there's so much more to life than what's in those walls of Gloryvale. Hannah, if you could speak to your grandparents, what do you want to say to them? I love you. I miss you. No matter where I go, I'm still going to love you, even if you don't agree with the choices I've made. I believe they were the right choices. Open your eyes, look around you, look at the fruit of what that place is. Yeah. Hannah, thank you very much for sharing your story with us this evening. That is Hannah Harrison, who is with other protesters outside the press debate in Christchurch this evening, hoping to convince Jacinda Ardern to agree to an inquiry into Gloria Vale.